I'm Amy from Doodle Dog Design. Today I'm going to show you how to make this antique looking jack-o'-lantern using a carvable pumpkin from the Dollar Tree. Let's get started. The first step is going to be to cut the top off just right around the, there's a groove all the way around it. And I'm using an X-Acto knife that has a fairly deep blade. And I'm just going to cut all the way around and then I will pull this out. I tried it on one pumpkin using just a regular kitchen knife and the edge is not as smooth as this one that I cut with the X-Acto knife. The next step is to take a pencil and draw the face on. The pumpkin is the same on either side of the seam and it has smaller ridges building up to a big ridge here on each side. So I'm going to use one of the big ridges as a nose and then I'm going to draw the eyes on either side of the nose and then a mouth. Then I'm going to use the X-Acto knife again and cut the eyes. And once you get it cut all the way through, you can just reach in behind and pop the eye out. Then I'm going to paint the inside of the pumpkin first, and then I'll paint the outside. If you use just plain paint, it will end up looking like you painted a foam pumpkin. But if you mix some spackling in with the paint, I got this spackling at the Dollar Tree. It really helps the pumpkin look very good. Mix equal parts of paint and spackling. Just mix the two together with your paintbrush until you get an even consistency. You really want to pay close attention to the seams when you're painting. This paint will help cover up the seam. My first coat of paint is dry, but I can still see some of the original color through the paint, so I'm going to give it another coat of paint. Now that the paint is dry, I'm going to apply some antiquing wax. I have Min Wax special dark. And I'm just going to apply this dark wax in the areas that I want it to look a little bit grungier. So in the seams and around the openings here. Then I'm going to apply Johnson's Paste Wax to the whole pumpkin. This will help seal the paint and 
just give it a finished look. If you've never used the paste wax before, just follow the directions on the can. It's pretty easy. Now I'm going to add a wire handle. I've got some rusted, pre-twisted wire that I'm going to use. And I'm going to use the wire to poke the hole in the jack-o'-lantern. Once I decide how long I want the handle to be, I can cut off the extra wire. And make sure I've got it lined up the same on both sides. Thanks for watching. Be sure to click the like button and subscribe below. I'll see you next time. Bye.